Hi, and welcome to another week's Tips for AI Trailblazers. I'm Kathleen Purley, your host and founder of Demystify. This week, we're going to dig into Perplexity's finance tool and some of the other features that are oftentimes missed. So let's go ahead and dig in. All right. As you can see here, one of the great things about Perplexity is its ability to have different chat features. You still have your standard ones here, as you can see in this chat box, ask anything, but there are some additional features. So for example, when we go into finance, we can toggle between U.S. markets and crypto, we can get an overall sentiment analysis, some market summaries, news, as well as some updating and upcoming earnings calls and transcripts or profile builders or anything like that. Now, what's really great is the ability to do some additional advanced research. So if I were to do click on this is where you get into the deep research side, I can look at NVIDIA, for example, and get some information about how their performance has been over the last couple of months. So if I want to look at the last six months, it'll give me some of that data, um, including where it closed out today and how it's looking after hours. It will also give you some of the latest news, its financial profile, uh, including EPS, their 52 week range, um, as well as their dividend yield, um, as well as their most recent earnings report uh, with some information with the full transcript and some key insights. This is a great tool if you're looking at some of the additional things that are going on in your sector or looking at certain investments. You also have the ability to go deeper. We'll actually anticipate some of the questions that might be asked if you were to invest in this stock or this company. So for example, this one on NVIDIA's Blackwell and H200 chip launches offset the financial hit that they see from some of the tariffs and the restrictions on China. And I'll go ahead and do that research for you and provide you that answer. So this is a great e-resource and tool for anyone in the financial sector or anyone who's interested in investing and kind of really kind of updating their portfolio game, if you will. Now, one other piece of Perplexity's kind of additional searches features that I think is really valuable is the academic one. This isn't really surprising given my background, but you do have the ability to explore academic papers, journals, as well as additional insights. So we might want to talk about the impact of AI on entry-level jobs and see what we're able to come up with here. This might take a few minutes, so you can also ask it to notify you. What's great about this tool is it actually will give you resources from academic journals, as well as papers, um, really kind of focusing on more of those scholarly articles. And um, this is valuable if, whether you're in academia or even if you're looking at and understanding a different segment or industry better or potential customer. So these are just a few of my favorite features within Perplexity that I oftentimes find are overlooked that I wanted to share with you today. Stay tuned as we'll dive in a little bit deeper into the lab feature within Perplexity and how that can be leveraged.